Hello, my beloved friends. My name is Dwayne. Welcome again to our study today. It's Wednesday. It's a Wednesday in the Word. Amen. I pray that you are blessed today and that you are ready to dig into a beautiful, beautiful study. Today's study is human reasoning apart from Scripture. Human reasoning apart from Scripture. You know, sometimes we're tempted. We think we get high-minded. We think a lot of ourselves. We think a lot of our intellectual capacities. And it seems like the more that people learn or the more educated we get, we educate ourselves away from God. Uh, we think that we can understand the will of God and understand uh, God's purposes in the world and in our lives simply by reasoning them out. I'm here to tell you today you're wrong about that. In fact, the Bible tells us in the book of Proverbs, Proverbs uh, 16 and verse 25, that there is a way that seems right unto a man. Let me read it here. There is a way that seems right unto the man, to a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. Sometimes we think we know, but we really don't know anything. In the book of Judges, uh, Judges chapter uh, 21, Judges 21, 25, um, the Bible says that when there were no judges in Israel, everyone did what was right in their own eyes. Can you imagine everybody just doing whatever they want in their own eyes? We see that in our world. What is the result of people just doing whatever they want to do? Here's the takeaway for today. The takeaway for today's lesson as we'll study is that we need two things in order to judge rightly, in order to see clearly, in order to, to do the will of God completely. We need two things. We need the Holy Spirit. We need the Holy Spirit to ennoble and enlighten our understanding so that we can focus and know what to do. The Holy Spirit is the voice that speaks and says, this is the way walk ye in. And it's the Holy Spirit that leads us to repentance. It is the Holy Spirit that positions us in the word of God and points us to scripture that applies to our lives. We need the Holy Spirit. We need the baptism of of the Holy Spirit. We need to ask and pray for the Holy Spirit to speak to us. He is God in us, living out the life of Jesus Christ in and through us. And then we need the Word of God, which we've been talking about this week. Again, there is no substitute for the food of the Word. We must eat the Word. Like Jeremiah, thy words were found and I did eat them. We've got to eat the Word of God daily in order for the Holy Spirit to have some material to use to help us to live from day to day. He brings back to our minds and impresses upon our heart that which we have looked at in the Word of God. So these two things are important, the Spirit and the Word, because human reasoning is faulty. We are prone to all kind of biases. If you ever study philosophy of any kind, uh, you will learn that human beings have all kinds of biases uh, in our way of thinking. We're prone to wander, as the song says. We need the word of God to keep us on track. So today, today, no reasoning, no human reasoning, or human reasoning aided, human reasoning aided by the word and by the Holy Spirit. That's the goal.